Let's see how to convert these bullets into an iterative process with some animation. We right click and convert to the iterative process smart art. It's called basic cycle. This looks nice. Each step in the process is a different activity. So let's put different colors. Now let's give them a little bit of 3D look. It looks nicer. Now looks like we have finished the diagram but if you present this it does look like a process but the fact that it is an iterative process means it has to happen again and again it has to repeat unfortunately visually the diagram is static so for it to work we have to make it move now if you want to make anything move in this context we have to choose the diagram and use some of the animation. We don't want the diagram to appear. It is already there. We just want it to rotate. That's called spin. Unfortunately, when you do that, it spins in the wrong way because by default, when you apply any animation to any smart art, it is applied as a single object. Now, if you go to effect options, yes, there is clockwise or anti-clockwise, how much spin, but at the bottom, there is something called as one object which is the default that's what happened just now it's not one by one which we want we want all at once but even that is not going to give you what exactly you wanted when you say all at once individual objects in the diagram get that animation so they are now spinning independent of each other so this is no good so let's remove this animation. So I'm just going to remove it. What we really need is to somehow select these arrows and group them. And these arrows have to rotate. The individual boxes do not have to rotate. Unfortunately, we would need to group these. And when you right click, there is no group option because these are not isolated shapes. These are part of a smart art. Within a smart art, you do not get group option because it's already grouped in that sense. So now we are really stuck. From simple text bullets, we have already got a nice iterative looking diagram. So that was the job of smart art. Now, because it's a smart art, it is not giving us full control over individual components of it. Now, if you want individual control, you need to convert this smart art to something which is just a collection of shapes. And how do you do that? That is not commonly known. So you click on the smart art, go to design and there is convert to shapes. So now it's no longer a smart art. It's just a collection of drawing tools. So I right click now and then say ungroup. Now we have control over everything. Of course, I'm not going to waste time clicking, clicking, clicking. There is a smarter way. Just draw an imaginary rectangle. Anything which is inside the rectangle gets selected. Now I'm going to group. Control G is the shortcut, by the way. And now I'm going to apply spin animation. Of course, it's not that simple because by default, the animation which is applied is going to be applied only once. There is no repetition. We want it to repeat, so we say until end of slide. Now, although this is nice, there will be one small problem left to be addressed. Notice this is a blue circle and a blue arrow. Right now they are clearly visible, but when it rotates, notice what happens. When the blue arrow goes inside the blue circle, it almost becomes invisible. We don't want that. So let's click on this group and put a little shadow that will make it easier to understand visually so you go to shape options shadow we'll choose black shadow at whatever 45 50 degree angle and with little bit of extra depth and blur and that should do the job now the current rotation is happening in two seconds we will reduce the loop to say 0.7 seconds and then it will look much nicer. That's how you create an iterative process visually. Thank you.